okay guys so welcome back to another video so i want to show you what i got finally i got this uh new irons well they're not new but uh i've been on the market i've been trying to look for some irons for me and i didn't really find anything that i liked and i found this great deal uh they're uh used second hand these are m2 tour and you won't believe how much i pay for them so stay tuned Okay, so let me show you this. This I have the set from um, five to pitch and wedge. Uh, this one's right here. They're the M2 Tour irons, and I paid $160, 160 euros. So uh, this guy just wanted to get rid of them. He didn't really. He just bought new ones, so he didn't want to deal with it. So I just happened to be. Uh, I, I'm the one who saw the ad first, so we met and I bought them. So I couldn't pass on that offer. It was, it's a great deal. I mean. The same uh, irons uh, on eBay, they cost about 400, 400, 450. So anyway, so let me just show you real quick. Uh, basically, what I'm playing right now is the RSI. I have a mixed set of clubs, so they're not good. They have like three different irons uh, in one bag. So they're kind of similar to the ones I already have. But the thing about it is that they have the whole I have the whole set. So I don't have to deal. Uh, I don't have to. I don't have a gap on it before I had a gap between my seven iron and my 8 iron it was like my 7 iron was 30.5 love and my 8 iron was like 38 love so there was a there was a club missing in the in the middle so anyways uh, the shafts on this are uh, 95 uh, XP uh, through temper regular uh, so just 5 grams um, heavier than what I'm using right now so but I already tried them at the range and I didn't see any difference at all I mean uh, you know they feel pretty good they, uh, I'm going to change the grips though because they're a little used but uh, I will take a few shots so I'll show you okay so I'll show you like a 5 iron right here uh, the distance should be the same as my my current uh, RSI on a 5 iron I care about 170 to 180 um, I like the finish on this one it's got a, like a little grayish finish and this ones have a little less offset so let's see uh, gonna play this in the simulator see how it feels I already tried it at the uh, at the range and they they felt really nice so okay I cut that a little heavy not bad okay so I got this part five I hit my drive and then I'll test my new irons and see how they perform Should be okay. Don't go in the bunkers. Okay. So I'll test my five iron, 240 yards to the pin. So I'm not gonna get there. I'll just uh, hit an iron, hit my five iron. Slightly to the right, this one. Yeah, decent distance, but I went to the right. Uh, I need to watch that because uh, obviously having less offset, I need to uh, release a little better. And then I have 82, but I'm in the rough. So tell you what, I'll just try the pitching wedge, even if it's just 82, but I'm in the rough. So I'm going to do like a half, like 75% swing. If it gets there, come on. Yeah, that was perfect. And the good thing now is that I have the whole set. So again, I don't have to deal with having a huge gap in between the iron. So can't wait to take them to the course actually. Okay, this one right here is 120 yards. I normally use my nine iron because uh, obviously the loft was really high. So I'm gonna try to use my pitching wedge now and see if I get there. So this is exactly what I was talking about before. That felt really good. Yeah. And that easily got me there. Whereas before I had to play my 9 iron on this one right here. So definitely, uh, I think I would say half a club more maybe with this. 
Okay, so I got a 173-yard uh, uh, par 3. Uh, these clubs have a little less offset, uh, not like a blade, but I feel like with too much offset, like my previous clubs, I didn't really have to do all the rotation. It kind of uh, anticipated that for me. So, And that uh, brought some issues, I think, later on as I switched clubs um, and also with my driver. So. I feel like uh, by having less offset is gonna in the long run. I think it's gonna help me. So, okay. So let me see if I can rotate better here and get this six iron in the green. Okay, that felt pretty good. Should get there. Yep, I got there, and actually that was very very good. Got a good roll. Give me birdie. Let me see the distance. I think it's 160. Yeah, 164. So that's about right. It's about the same as the as the previous ones. No more, but about the same. But the good thing is that I have the whole set. So I think if I were to change the shaft, though, uh, right now with my swing speed, I will probably get more distance. But again, I don't know if I want to do that because uh, I'm increasing my swing speed doing things like the drill, uh, the swing speed uh, drill. So. Uh, I would say that I probably need like uh, the one up setting anyways. I needed that on my other clubs as well. So I think uh, I would invest in uh, taking it to the fitter and just hit one degree up. Okay guys, so that was it for the review. Uh, the M2 Tour, uh, basically they're similar to the ones I already had, except for I have the whole set. They feel pretty good. I think uh, obviously this shaft, 95 uh, regular uh, steel, Maybe uh, I could uh, improve this uh, to get a little more distance. But uh, like I mentioned in the video, I'm working with the drill sticks and doing some uh, speed um, swings. I would, I would um, put a video on that. And I feel like my, uh, actually I know that my swing speed has increased a little bit. So I'm hoping that I get a little more uh, swing speed. And that way uh, the shafts, you know, I can still keep this shaft. So. Um, right now the distance is about the same as the ones that I have so I don't see any difference uh, the only difference that I see is in the offset this has a little less offset which means that um, I need to turn just a little better so but that would only benefit my my uh, golf um, swing obviously because if I have so much offset that I'm not really turning and it's already giving me help so uh, and I, I don't really want that I feel like um, you know, this one's a little better, so I'm going to have the proper turn to get the proper shot. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.